All right, back at it again with another wild and crazy day in the garage with the 1290 Super Adventure. Uh, today, we are going to be finally getting rid of these hideously ugly back racks, uh, pulling off this Akrapovich, drilling out some rivets, pulling off the carbon end cap there, and then hopefully be able to pull out the DB killers out of the back of it to open it up a bit. Uh, to see how how you know how much bark we can get out of it. Uh, I'm not very happy right now with where it is. It I don't know. It's really not that much different than stock from what I can tell. Um, so I'm hoping removing those DB killers will make a, a fair bit of difference. Obviously, since we are working on exhaust, we'll get a get some exhaust clips in there, get some sound from it, some befores and afters. Uh, I'm also going to throw the stock exhaust back on there get a comparison clip of the stock exhaust versus the currently corked up akrapovich exhaust versus the akrapovich with the db killers removed i do have some arrow headers uh, full ceramic coated uh, arrow headers that are sitting right over there in a box gets rid of the cat makes it free flowing and all that that we'll be putting in and probably the next video um, since I really want to hear what those sound like um, so yeah stay tuned for that we'll do that like I said probably probably in the next video um, so yeah let's get started <coughs> There she is. Rack uninstalled. Man, that's a lot of steel on the back of your bike. <laughs> like I said in my, uh, I think that's my first video uh, with this bike. I'm really not a huge fan of uh, hard racks and hard bags on the back of a bike. I think it, uh, I think it's pretty dangerous for you. If you dump that bike off road and your legs get all tangled up in that, you are going to have a shitty ride home. Um, man, that looks so much better like that. Oh, I'm so much happier. All right, now I'm gonna dig out the uh, stock bolts that came with it with all the different, uh, you know, the KTM mounting hardware, the stock hardware. Um, I'm gonna dig that out and put those bolts, I'll clean those holes up a little bit, but um, put those bolts back in these holes just to plug them up so they don't get all chock full of dirt and crap. Um, and then we'll be done with the, the rack portion. Cool. There we go, perfect. All right, now we're gonna rip that bad boy off of there. Jesus. Jesus, man, this thing is ever so, I mean, you can see. <laughs> That's how heavy the stock one is. I'm not gonna slam the Akrapovich down, but let me tell you, it is not much lighter. <laughs> For a $1,200 
exhaust. Uh, 1200 just for the can. Um, that is absolutely insane. Okay, looking at this heavy ass Acra. Um, plan is to drill out those little rivets, the black ones on the carbon. You can pull off the carbon end cap then. Um, from what I've seen online, there are uh, screws, tack welded. It's like one screw per, per exhaust port um, screwed in to kind of friction fit the uh, DB killers in there. And then they're tack welded there. Uh, so I'm gonna have to crack those off of there to pull the uh, DB killers out. Cool, let's go. Time to drill a hole in a $1,200 exhaust. sucked. Let's uh, see if we can get this bad boy off there now. Huh. There we go. Cool. Huh. See the ones I saw online had set screws right there that were tack welded in place. These do not have that. But that is a spot weld right there. Boop, boop. So my thinking is if I grind those out, I'll be able to pull out DB killers, but those will be inside of the carbon shroud but um, I don't think that's really gonna make that much of a difference. So, fuck it. I'm just going to uh, cut those out and see if I can pull out those uh, DB killer boys. <laughs> I could get something down in there and tap it out from the back end. I wonder if that would work. Using tools not what they're for intended for. Haha! -ha, fuck yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Hell yeah. All right. Look at that. Look at that ugly, wet piece of shit. Huh. All right, well, we got one of them out. Okay. So, take this with about a whole shaker of salt, because I am by no means a professional, but uh, in case it wasn't super clear what's going on here. Um, I'll explain it while there's still one left in there. So, this is your DB killer, right? So this sat up inside of there. You can still see the weld around the outside of that spot right there where it was spot welded. Um, the other examples I've seen in this, I couldn't find any with the KTM Akrapovich exhaust. I found a, a video where a guy in Australia did this with a uh, BMW GS uh, Akrapovich exhaust. It looks identical to this. 
When I watched the video, there was a set screw right about there that he was able to crack off, back out the set screw, and then he slowly knocked knocked this this DB killer out of the out of the the uh, exhaust stream. What I had to do, so there was no set screw on here. Obviously, they had tack welded or spot welded it. Um, not tack. They had spot welded the DB killer in there. Um, so I had to drill out that spot weld, and then I was able to take a bar and back it up against the back of the DB killer, hit it three times the hammer, and it just popped right on out. Um, basically the way this works is that, you know, it's more narrow than the, the outlet, so the exhaust comes around it, kind of forms a baffle before it exits. Um, cool, very happy. Not super excited about that hole, but I don't think it's gonna cause too much of an issue. Yeah, happy this came out though. So I'm gonna knock that one out, then we'll clean up the holes. Um, uh, the rivet holes, clean up the holes on the carbon and re-rivet the thing back together and we'll get it back on the bike. Yeah, very excited. Happy this thing came out. Hell yeah. All right, there's number two. So that's it for today. We got uh, those ugly racks off the back of there. Got the tail all cleaned up, uh, if I can speak without stuttering. Um, and then we pulled out these DB killers from that Akrapovich system. Had to drill out the rivets, pull off the carbon end can. Those two little holes that we had to drill in there in the side to get the uh, spot welds cut out. Those two little uh, what are they? They're 
a little over a quarter inch in diameter. I don't really think those are gonna cause any issues. I was worried that they might do something stupid like whistle as you were you know, revving the motor, which would have been hilarious, but would have been very annoying because we had to fix it. But luckily, no issues with them. I didn't notice any, any weird whistling or anything like that um, while I was popping the throttle. Um, overall, God, it sounds way better now. Uh, I hope it comes through in vi in, uh, on the video. I know this is just the, the GoPro microphone, so it probably won't be uh, studio quality, but I, I do hope it comes through. I think it will. I think you'll be able to, be able to tell at least a, a bit of the difference, but it is, I mean, you can feel it in your chest now um, compared to before when it was you know, the stock, which is, I mean, you, the, mo the valve train and the motor makes more noise than the damn exhaust does. The stock Akrapovich sounds a little bit better. Uh, this actually sounds like an aftermarket exhaust now. Um, I, I gotta imagine it's something to do with the, you know, the EPA noise emissions crap, why they have to sell these things with non-removable DB killers. I wish they could make them easily removable. I mean, everybody wants to do it. I, I don't know why, and especially for the price. I mean, $1,200-ish retail for this is absolutely ridiculous that you basically get <laughs> a dark colored stock exhaust with, you know, it's got the DB killers. It's still very heavy um, compared to most other aftermarket options. I mean, it's it's a couple pounds lighter, but when you're going from like, oh God, whatever that stock exhaust is, that thing's gotta be close to 30 pounds, it feels like. Um, yeah, it's re it really isn't that much of a difference in weight for this thing. Again, the, the cost is, boy oh boy, you pay a lot for that, uh, that Acrotax. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys like the video, uh, please consider subscribing. Like I've been saying, we've got a whole bunch more stuff I'm gonna be doing to the bike. Uh, the next video should be the full aero system, so we'll be done with the exhaust portion of it. Uh, still have the Rottweiler uh, emissions crap to pull, or the Rottweiler emissions kit to pull all of that crap off the bike, um, and a bunch of other bunch of other stuff we're gonna be doing. That's what all of those boxes on the trailer is just stuff we're gonna be sticking on the bike um yeah like i said like comment subscribe thanks everyone